Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to show you some tips and tricks you can try out with the Oppo F9 Pro. So, Oppo F9 Pro is the latest device under the F series in India, and this comes uh, with a really good hardware. And on the software side, this has uh, uh, the color OS that's uh, the custom UI from Oppo, and on, this is on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. So the color OS is a custom UI with a lot of additional features being offered and uh, in this video we will talk about some of the best uh, aspects of this device. Uh, there are lots of features to customize the device and there are lots of additional features to get the better out of your device. So let's get started. So first up let's see how to customize the quick toggle. So just swiping from the top uh, you can see this is the uh, quick toggle. So if you just uh, uh, go here you can see there is an icon to expand it. Now there is a top uh, you can uh, see there is an option to edit it. Just click here and this is the edit button and here you can see that uh, you can actually rearrange these icons. So just uh, touch and drag the icon to display it on the notification bar. So these are the icons available in the notification bar and these are available uh, uh, that these are actually not available. So if you want uh, say for example if if you want 100 UI just press and uh, drag it to this area and that will be available so these are the uh, available ones so whatever you drag onto the top area that will be available and just click uh, save and now you can see that 100 UI has made it to uh, the notification center so that's how you can uh, rearrange the icons now next let's go to the settings panel so settings uh, there are lots of uh, useful options to customize uh, first let's go to the dis display and brightness so here we have the option to change the color temperature so by default uh, this is the color temperature and if you want a slightly more cooler display you can uh, go here this is the cooler display and if you want a warmer display just select this and this will enable you the warmer display so based on how you want uh, whether you want the display to be cooler or warmer you can go ahead and select this then there is night shield option Night shield is particularly useful and this reduces the eye strain especially when you're reading uh, from the device uh, especially in the night. So you can just schedule the time enable now means uh, this will be enabled and you can see uh, the um, uh, blue light uh, has been reduced and this will give you a warmer tint and you can have a uh, color temperature more warmer and uh, slightly cooler so that can be enabled from here and you can also uh, display effect uh, display in color display in black and white uh, so just select this you can see that it will be it'll go to black and white then comfort night reading option is also there that will turn on to completely black for better reading experience so this is the night shield option this is particularly useful if you are reading a lot of content on the device now let's go back to the settings uh, and uh, let's see other options as well so sound and vibrations uh, you have this option to enable the real sound technology so this will improve the sound quality you can see that there is an equalizer available and you can customize the sound uh, output from this uh, device and you can see the real HD sound can be enabled this will be available only once you connect uh, your earphones uh, to the device that's the uh, sound and vibration and now let's go to uh, the fingerprint and face uh, passcode so fingerprint uh, can be used uh, for multiple purpose we'll just uh, show you that just enter the pin code so once you have entered the pin code uh, you can see that the fingerprint does uh, currently is used for screen unlock you can enable it for app lock as well so uh, once you enable it what happens is uh, you can actually lock apps using this option so enabled for privacy we'll come back to app lock and privacy for a bit later so once you have enabled that now coming back to the face unlock you can uh, see that there is again uh, a pretty good option the face unlock is really fast and uh, if you're using face unlock uh, during uh, extreme low light conditions there is an option to enable the additional light so we'll just show you that as well you can see there is a screen brightness compensation under dim surrounding so you can just turn on this so that means uh, what happens uh, uh, in uh, dim light conditions uh, face unlock uh, will not be able to recognize you and that happens uh, uh, you can uh, enable this option that means uh, the display brightness will uh, bright up your face and the camera can detect your face so that's another useful option then uh, going to the smart and convenience mode uh, here we have the option to customize the navigational keys so uh, virtual navigational keys uh, are the one uh, you can uh, uh, see this is the one you can actually uh, interchange uh, between the back and the multitasking option now uh, from here you can also have uh, a virtual navigation keys hidden that means uh, when when you turn on this option you can see there is an icon here if you just click here you can see this will be disabled uh, i mean uh, hidden so that option is also available now the second option is swipe up for uh, just a navigation 
so when you enable this there are a lot of additional options first is back and uh, back at both sides you can see you can uh, go back at both sides uh, sender fr swipe from sender will go to home screen swipe and hold uh, to view the recents and there's another option swipe just as uh, swipe uh, up to go to home screen swipe up and hold to view the recent task and then back on the right uh, swipe up to go back so this can be customized based on how you want and you can also hide the gesture uh, uh, guide and uh, there is also option to enable mistouch prevention so these are the navigational keys and then there is also assistive board so we'll just show you the assistive ball feature as well so once you enable that you can see there is a, a small ball on the screen and what happens is tap will take you to the back screen double tap is multitasking and touch and hold is home button so we'll just show you double tap and this is multitasking and touch and hold will take you to the home screen so that's the option uh, in the uh, assistive ball so if you want this assistive ball you can just enable it here and uh, you can also enable the transparency for the assistive ball then next going to the gesture and motion so screen of gestures are included so double tap to turn on the screen draw or to start the camera music control you can also add a screen of gesture whichever you want uh, can be added here so double tap to turn on the screen is available here then smart call uh, is uh, auto answer when uh, you, you are bringing the phone to the ear or um, uh, mode uh, switching during call so some uh, useful options are there to manage your calls then there is also three finger screenshot so just uh, swipe uh, using the three fingers to down and uh, this will take a screenshot and you can also have a long screenshot enabled then rise to turn on the screen this is a pretty useful option why i'll tell you because uh, uh, generally if you want to unlock the device using face unlock what you need to do is you need to hold the i mean uh, tap the power button then it will light up the screen and that will uh, enable the uh, face unlock now what it does raise to turn on the screen what it does is uh, just will show you you can see that uh, i not uh, enabled any button i have not pressed any button so this is rise to uh, wake up so this is pretty useful because uh, you don't have to press any button you just have to uh, take the phone and raise it uh, and this will actually uh, turn on the display and it will unlock the device then there is smart driving so this is a new feature so smart driving once you turn down uh, it will you can see that it will block notifications and remind us to reduce the distraction so a lot of accidents happen while you use the smartphone now while driving so this is uh, to uh, remove all the notifications and uh, this will not distract you while driving and uh, automatically turn on when connected to bluetooth car kit so if you are having a uh, car with a bluetooth uh, 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 option to connect with the smartphone this can be pretty useful so that's a smart driving option so next going to the security option so security option you can see that uh, regular options like find my device and payment protection and the harassment uh, uh, protection is there fake uh, base station blocking and uh, uh, identification of unknown numbers so these are some uh, useful option we are not going into detail uh, here we have uh, three really useful option one is app lock so first uh, we'll just show you app lock so you need to enter the password which we are going to set so once you have enabled the password you can see that which all apps you want to lock uh, uh, using the fingerprint or uh, pin so right now we are just enabled uh, for few apps now what did you can do is here say for example i'm just uh, enabling uh, photos uh, to be encrypted so enable encryption so now we have enabled encryption and we'll just uh, uh, open the photos and you can see that uh, now uh, it is unlocked because i just entered uh, the face unlock as well so uh, the photos app is now locked uh, so uh, unless you show your face or use the fingerprint or uh, use the pattern it will not uh, open up so that is uh, an added protection available uh, in the uh, security so then there is also kid space so kid space is uh, something uh, really useful if you uh, are giving uh, your smartphone to kids so what you can do is you can create a kid space and you can actually set the duration uh, for which they can use uh, for example 30 minutes after 30 minutes it will uh, uh, turn off apps allowed you can select the apps which you are allowing uh, in the kids mode and then uh, turn off cellular data to uh, make sure that no calls go up so these are some things you can do in the kid space then there is also private safe option so private safe again uh, is an area where you can uh, save all your personal files and uh, data uh, from uh, others uh, accessing it so we'll just create uh, a private safe see that uh, now uh, we have uh, created a private safe you can see a method to enter private safe enter from setting security private safe touch and hold the app title on the home page such as photos to enter the private safe so you can also create a home screen shortcut 
so once you're done uh, you can add your files uh, to the private safe uh, and then uh, you can uh, see that uh, you can actually access the private safe using the fingerprint or face unlocks you can add photos audios documents and others to the private safe now going to the additional safe settings so here we have option to uh, enable the OTG connection so you can see that there is an OTG uh, connection option so just select this if you want to connect uh, any pen drives or other accessory, accessory uh, using the OTG option you can uh, enable this automatically turn off when not in use for 10 minutes so when you're not using it it will automatically turn off the OTG uh, function so then uh, going uh, further you can see there is an option for, to clone apps so clone apps uh, is uh, uh, basically using uh, two different instances of the same app. So this is a particularly useful op option. Uh, for example, if you want to run two instances of Facebook, enable app cloning will uh, do that. So what it does, it will create an another instance of uh, uh, app. So right now you can see that uh, you can actually rename that. Now if you go to the home screen, uh, you can uh, see that uh, there are two options of Facebook. One is a regular option and then one is a fa Facebook clone. So you can, uh, these two apps are completely different of each other. So that means so you can have two accounts at the same time. This is particularly useful for social networking apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, etc. Then there is also game space. So game space is put, uh, particularly useful if you're a gamer. You can see that uh, game space features. Uh, game engine improves, improves the gaming performance through custom optimization, smoothness optimization, then network protection and answer calls with ease. That means even if you're gaming, uh, you won't be disturbed with calls uh, and you don't have to quit uh, 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 the voice calls or rather the games while answering the call. So that is a uh, game space. So if you are a particularly gamer, you can enable it. Then there is app split screen. So app uh, split screen is quite useful. So what it does is you just uh, swipe up with three fingers to enable the split screen. We'll just show you. So you can see that now the uh, screen is split and uh, you can have the settings on the top and I can open another app uh, at the bottom. Say for example, if I want to open Amazon, so now the split screen is enabled. So that's uh, the split screen option uh, uh, in the settings. Then there is also option uh, to customize the device with theme store. So if you go to the theme store, you can uh, see there are a lot of additional options uh, uh, in order to customize the device. You can see the wallpapers uh, and if you go to the me, you can uh, actually see uh, your favorite wallpapers and themes you downloaded and you can have some customization here. So you can uh, uh, do a bit of customization by downloading additional themes. Then there is also phone manager option. So what it does is you can clean up storage in case uh, you uh, your phone is running out of storage. You can see ca uh, cache data can be cleaned uh, uh, from here. You can see around a uh, three gigabyte uh, storage is used to buy cash. So whenever you want, you can just clean up storage. Then there is also a uh, virus scanner. Then another useful option is WhatsApp cleaner. So WhatsApp cleaner, uh, you can see that you can clean junk files, pictures, videos, audios uh, and voice files can be cleaned up from uh, this option so that's the whatsapp cleaner under the uh, my uh, i mean phone manager so these are the some of the useful features uh, in the oppo f9 pro it's a really good uh, uh, customizable uh, ui on the oppo f9 pro and uh, uh, the color OS does a pretty good job here so that's all guys with the tips and tricks on the oppo f9 pro hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos this is Nirma signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.